welcome to my segment on how to manually renew a policy in EPIC. My name is Laura Hamilton, and I am an EPIC trainer here at Allegiance Insurance. First, what you're going to do is locate the clients and the policy that you wish to manually renew. We are going to manually renew this policy because it is with a carrier that does not download. I received in the mail the renewal packet, so I'm going to go ahead and go to action. Renew, I'm going to make sure that my policy number is the same. Some carriers tend to change the policy number when the policy renews from year to year with a 2016-2017 at the end or a dash one, dash two, dash three, and so on and so forth. This remains the same. I'm going to add in my premium. The policy is renewed. All of my information is correct. I'm going to click Finish. I'm going to leave this activity open that I renewed the policy, and I'm going to change it to, uh, to next year. I'm going to leave it open and click Finish. My policy is still in process, so I need to go to Action, and I need to issue this policy. Policy number, the dates are correct. It's issued with the status of renewal. I'm going to click Finish. Close out of the issue policy activity. Click Finish. And now my policy is renewed. The status is issued. However, I need to have the premium show for line estimated premium. So I'm going to edit this policy, click on servicing and billing, line, and in the premium estimated, I'm going to add in my premium for my policy. I'm going to X out of the policy over to the left. And now my policy stage is issued, my premium is correct, and my policy effective and expiration dates are correct. Thank you for joining the session on how to manually renew a policy. If you need any additional training, you can visit our website as noaa.webex.com. Sign up for any of the sessions. We have them, uh, some of them are daily, some of them are weekly. So please visit asnoaa.webex.com. Thank you.